guys, it's the Mr. Pan Pan here, and I'm back again with another gameplay slash commentary of Modern Warfare 3. Alright, this came in the P90 with no attachments, the kick proficiency, and my kill streaks are the Predator Missile, the Attack Chopper, and the Reaper. Alright guys, if you guys can't tell, I still do sound a bit sick, so please bear with me. I've been sick for like, I think like 3-4 to four weeks now, which is unbelievable, because... Whenever I try to do a commentary, my voice sounds like it's full of mucus, so it sounds really disgusting. Uh, I feel whenever I talk, it all starts bundling up, which is even more disgusting here, and it it's just horrible. So please bear with me. All right, so let's get this started. All right, so uh, for this commentary, I'm, I'm going to be talking about. The good, the bad, and the ugly of Modern Warfare 3. This is basically what's good in Modern Warfare 3, what's bad, and what's just straight up nasty in Modern Warfare 3. So as you guys probably gonna tell, there's gonna be a lot of bad things in this commentary because Modern Warfare 3 is one of the worst CODs ever so far. So, um, yeah, so let's get this started. Alright, let's start with the good. So the good are, the good things are, the new game modes they added to the game. Uh, they are, uh, Kill Confirmed, Drop Zone, and Team Defender. Alright, uh, the new game modes add a different twist to the game. They add, uh, more variety. Instead of just playing Demolition, Domination, TDS, Push and Destroy, you can play other game modes which are new to the game. So let's get this started again. Um, Kill Confirmed is kind of like TDS, but there's an objective to it. Um, when you kill a person, they drop a dog tag. And if you pick that dog tag up, you get a point for your team. And whoever uh, has the most points uh, at the end of the game, whichever team has the most points at the end of the game, you win the game. So if you don't, if you just kill whore and don't go for the dog tags, you will not win the game. So it puts a twist on it puts a twist on a regular game, which was TDM, and makes it more objective based and for the more objective type of player. Alright, the next game mode we have is Drop Zone. Drop Zone is kind of like Headquarters, but it's got a twist to it. Uh, drop Zone is, uh, if you're on the capture point... <sighs> Sorry, guys. Um, if you're on the capture point, uh, uh, when you capture the point, the uh, care packages drop, which uh, could be used. Because there is no killstreaks in this game mode, so the care packages drop kill streaks for you like you can get really lucky you get like an osprey gunner and just go to town or you just get like normal uavs or maybe even a juggernaut so yeah they're really uh they're really good it's a really fast paced game mode as well like there's nades everywhere there's uh what else is there's like there's kill streaks always up uh and there's people always rushing to the drop zone so it's really fast game modes though if you're not good with rushing or you don't like really fast game modes then I would not recommend playing this because it is very hectic so that's basically drop zone for you all right guys that now the last game mode the last game mode we have is uh team defender it is it again it is kind of like TDM but it's got an objective game it's got an objective mode to it as well um there's a flag in the middle of the game which is uh not middle of the game. There's a flag on the map, which if your team has it, you guys earn double points. So, if your team has it, instead of getting 150 points per kill, you would get 100. Or, if, I think it's actually 100 kills. 100 points for, per kill, so, yeah. So, um, and if the other team has the flag, they get double points. So, if you have the flag, you can win the game quicker, more efficiently, and much easier than without it. And it's, it's, I don't think it's even, even possible to win without the flag, so I would suggest going for the flag. Alright, let's move on to the bad things about Modern Warfare 3. The bad things are the maps. The maps in this game are just horrible. They have no flow to them, and the, they, they flip spawns really easily. And that man, dead man's hand just killed me. That's not terrible about this game. Um, alright, let's go back to the maps. The maps, um, have, again, no flow. The spawns flip really easily. Even if you throw a nade in there, I bet. Like, like your own nade, it flips the spawns, I'm pretty sure. So, it, it's, it's just terrible. Alright, um, and they also don't, they, they don't look that good either to me. Uh, the Black Ops maps, they had, they looked more realistic to me. Like, 
I just like the I just like Treyarch's uh, artwork basically. I don't really like Modern Warfare Infinity Ward's artwork. It's too bright for me, so yeah, I don't really like uh, Infinity Ward's artwork. That's why I don't really like the maps at all. All right, now let's go to the spawns. That's another bad thing about Modern Warfare 3. The spawns in this game are horrid. I could like kill a guy um, at the A flag. He would spawn like two meters behind me and knife me in the back. And my theory is that Infinity Ward has revenge spawns because you might kill a guy, but he spawns right behind you and kills you, which is again a revenge spawn, which is just makes no sense to me and ruins the game for everyone else. Cause I that means like if you kill a guy five times in a row, he's gonna spawn near you somewhere. Maybe like maybe like right beside you, you won't even know it. So it's really gay. Um. Now let's go. This move up to the ugly parts, and there are a lot of ugly parts of this game. The first thing is the connection. The connection in this game is the worst connection in CODs, in any COD ever. Uh, the host. Uh, let me just try this over again, guys. Sorry. Um, the connection in the, is this. This is the worst COD for connection ever. Um, since uh, Modern Warfare 3 has got. A very high bullet damage. Um, th this game mostly depends on connection, but since you never have a good connection, you could be shooting at a guy, but 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 unknowingly, he he probably already killed you when you were just shooting at him, which is just in my mind stupid, cause you will you will never have a fair gunfight ever then. So there, there so. It just makes the game really unplayable against a really good against the host. So the host could go like 55 and 0, and you'd go like I don't know, like 20 and 20, because you you you'll see him first. But since he's a better connection, you might be shooting at him, but in his in his sights, you're already dead. So it's it makes no sense to me at all. So I wish they would fix that. But Infinity Ward, you're slacking on that part. So please try to fix it. All right, another ugly part of this game is the bullet damage. Like, you, you, we all know that Mar uh, Infinity Ward is known for very high bullet damage because in Modern Warfare 2, the stopping power was very high, so you could kill pretty easily. But in Modern Warfare 3, even if you're red, just a tad bit, you would be a what one, one shot kill most of the time. Like I was just a tiny bit red, and that was a one shot kill. And now, one time I was one away from a Moab, and I was just a tiny bit red, and I got killed, one shotted, by a freaking PM6, which is the worst SMG out in the game. So, I do not understand this game at all, and it it just makes me very frustrated that they're not fixing this stuff. And I I am looking forward to the next trailer game very much because I loved Black Ops, even though. Like, there was a lot of bullshit in it, but it was still a very fun game to play. It took more skill, in my mind, because there was less bullet damage, so you actually had to have good aim, you had to, you had, you had to have good gun skill, w even more than Infinity Ward games, because Infinity Ward games, even if you didn't have any gun skill, if you just shot a couple of bullets into, this, into the guy, you would kill him easily. So, uh, Infinity Ward, please set your game up. I would love for a better Infinity Ward game because I do like Infinity Ward games because they're way high paced than Black Ops, but just this little this little stuff that annoys me a lot, like connection, maps, spawns, bullet damage, all that stuff annoys me crazily. That's basically uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of Modern Warfare 3. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now we want to into another topic. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the NBA started at six, around six days ago, so uh, I've been wondering, would you guys like to see some NBA 2K gameplay or some FIFA 12 gameplay? Because I do have NBA 2K11, I don't have 2K12, because 2K12, from the reviews I heard, um, it's not a very good game, so I didn't get it, but FIFA 12 I do have, and I'm just wondering if you guys would like to see that, so uh, post in the comments if you would, and... Um, yeah guys, so the uh, we won the game, I went 52-4 and four with the P90, and I went ham, so peace out guys.